Oh, I forgot. So hi, YouTube. I forgot to hit start on the recording. We lost our first round to a fog mirror. So a deck that was probably built much better from the mirror. They had a bunch of chemisters insights. Which, like, maybe we should be playing. Like, maybe without the settles, we can afford to move these Novas to the board. Cut, like, Lyra and maybe one Tristani. Play, and then play two insights. But the insights just feel so bad against the aggro decks. Sorry about this. I just, had a, I just had an important work email come across. So give me a hot second. It's rude to look at my phone while I'm streaming. But. Okay, we're good. Had an email from the big boss. I'm starting a new job on, on Monday within the company. Moving to work for the U.S. Capitol Police, which is going to be pretty cool. So I'll be around the... Uh, um, so I'll be around the... Around the Capitol, which is pretty sweet. My hours change. I start at like 7 in the morning, which is a little rough. But I, I think I would rather start early than late. So like I'll probably start 7, get out at like 3.30. Which just means I'll go to bed earlier at night. But I usually try to go to bed around 10 anyways. I wonder, I feel like there's a way I could have navigated those games better. Like, I feel like I just got outplayed. Like, I don't think I lost it due to draws. I think I just got worked. So this is a turn five. This is a turn four Wrath. So we've been playing a lot of aggro decks. So I think I'm going to keep this. Tans yeah, I think it is. I think that the Settle the Wreckage, I think Settle the Wreckage is pretty awful. I think every, everyone knows how to play around it. And you just end up, like, using your, you use four mana to just do nothing. It also is, like, not, four, like, you just have four mana to do nothing. Now we're going to get worked here because we kept a hand that was pretty solid against aggro decks. And we're not playing against an aggro deck. I should have played my Forest. I just really like I really dislike settle the wreckage. Cause your your opponent can dictate what happens. And like, why are you playing a card that's supposed to fix your problems when they can dictate how it works? Now, if you can ever settle the wreckage with a Teferi, if you have Teferi in play, that changes everything. Because then they have to like attack into you more aggressively to get Teferi off the board, or they're just gonna lose. What do we got here? Enigma and Drake.
Oh, should have put it on a basic. Punch it with our land, because like now they can field this. Hopefully they just play another creature. That would be sweet. And also, no one's playing around Cleansing Nova. Like such. Like I'm just sick. I'm sick of I'm sick of messing around with Settle the Wreckage. And that's all it is. Like you just sit there and you dirtle. I don't really want to jam this card into a counter spell. But I also don't want to let them chemistry's insight for free, so this is kind of the, the pickle that we're in. Shouldn't have played my land. I always do that. And I've, I've got to break that habit. Okay, so we're going to get the three fur here. The four fur? He's going to triple shock this bad boy. Nice. Now, the unfortunate thing is we don't have anything to go with this. The other sad thing is that we're going to end up, like, if our, because we don't have the Karn anymore, if our opponent chooses to play this out, it's going to suck. Because we're going to have to Teferi deck them. I think you need 26 lands in this deck, but this is the sad part about it. Rut row, raggy. At least we drew a spell. Yep, you can opt there, boy. We can just have six through this turn here. Oh, we're going to try to wrath this thing again. And we've got a clock, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to rejuvenate some punks. They have a counter spell. This is going to suck. Okay. So we just milled over to Fairy, which kind of sucks. No more cycle lands feels bad, man. I'm not playing any of the chemistry insights. I don't think that I don't think the chemistry insights are very good in this deck. Primarily because I think that the aggro decks like put too much pressure on you to not do anything with four mana. Um come on. I think the aggro decks put too much pressure on you. To do that, and I think I think you can beat up on the control decks anyways, with just like inevitability and counter spells. Jump started ditching a land. This card's gonna be pretty annoying. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get beat here, which just sucks. I mean, th this is where the chemistry insights would have been very good here. Another problem we don't, we did only hit one business spell in the top nineteen cards of our deck, which I guess there is only four car one card and four Teferis. At least we're at twenty three. So we got to fight with fire covered. We have at least one covered. Whew. 
That's that's pretty sweet. Again, our opponent gets to do that because we're not putting any pressure on them. Man, we can build a house with all these bricks. And that's the death nail. So we're gonna flash this back, draw eight cards. Yeah, I think we're good. We wanna go to the next game here. Draw four, get a one one. Yeah, I don't have to. I'm not gonna take this abuse. Again, this is a little odd sideboarding because I don't know. I want some counter spells. I think I want my Knight of Autumns because they can easily play Spyglass and they play the other thing. And I want my Carnage Tyrants. Karn doesn't seem great. Cleansing Nova is like kind of medium, but it's probably still worth having. We can get rid of some of our fogs. Trim here, trim one of these, trim a gift. And then it's like, do we want more Novas? Do we want to get rid of some of our Fogs? <sighs> that was a great stretch. I wonder how interesting this deck is going to be when you play Land of War Elves in it. All right, we'll keep this. Mana is awkward, but we have a search, and we can fix our mana with this field if we need to. I just don't think you need the help against control decks. Like, you just have such inevitability between they have to, like, eventually you're never going to run out of Nexus of Fates. The Carnage Tyrants are just disgusting. Like, there's not really a good way to deal with Carnage Turn right now. All right, don't spell pierce me, bro. All right, so they're just holding up for an opt. Like, the decks that are the hardest... I didn't even think Baral was that good. Like, I thought it was more, like... You just time your Nexus of Fates to make it so they can never tap out. And you just always lean on them with your mana advantage. Because you just end up getting more lands into play. It's just much harder for them to operate. We do want that. We are going to take our turn off here, unfortunately. But we might as well field. We'll field them in their draw step. I guess we can wait till the end step and hold up. This is kind of make some mana for them, which just sucks. Yes, but if they tapped out to play Gear Hulk, you Nexus them and the game's over. Like, I don't think that you need help against those decks. Alright, we're going to keep this. Because this Enigma Drake could get scary. I like this card a lot. I wish it let me cheat on lands, but I don't think we can get away with playing like 23 lands as much as I want to, or 20, 25 lands.
Oh, nice. It does replace itself, which is solid. We do need a way, like, a way to deal with this right now. A white source off the top would be really nice. Maybe I should have fetched a white source thinking about that. All right, we can ditch this to fairy. White source. That's pretty bad for the home team because these things are going to clock us. So the plan is, I really need these to resolve. So I think I'm going to try to fight on their turn with a Nexus. I'm assuming I hit a land drop here. Fight on their turn with Nexus to Fate. And then on my first turn, bait out with this Teferi. They're likely going to counter the Teferi. Some petals are in your graveyard. No, we're going to draw this. They tap out for an insight here. We'll just Nexus and then Wrath the Lord. Get our two points in. All right, nice. Now we're in a good spot. We take another turn. We attack, wrath the board. No, we want to draw that. So let's get in here. It would be nice if we get to ferry them, but like, that's just a bit too greedy, I think. Destroy all creatures. Next turn, we can play Teferi and have Counterspell up, or we can just jam this Carnage Tyrant. I kind of like jamming the Carny T, especially now they played that thing. I wouldn't mind. If we have a land on top, I might keep it. I don't think I want to keep that one because I don't want to shock myself. So let's just mill that over. Okay. Get the carny boy in. And now hopefully they just exhaust themselves of so much resources trying to deal with this tyrant that we can play Teferi to just and then start getting ahead that way. Likely our search is going to flip next turn. And we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we can go Teferi, activate, untap. Teferi, untap. We have like an un negate and a search for his can't activation and Teferi. Okay, we're going to try to tuck that thing. These are scary. I think I want to draw it. Well, no, I want to flip this search. This gift would be nice to gain life, though.
So I could just attack, offer the trade. All right, we'll get both of these off. Oh, I guess it doesn't kill them both. Oh, man. Oh, that was bad. I thought it killed them both. Now I'm going to... Oh, man, I messed up so bad right there. I just, like, wasn't thinking. We are a while into the stream. I'm getting messing up a little bit, but... Probably have to tuck this, or I can tick up and then look for a fog. Or we can just hit it. I mean, we got bailed out there pretty well. But again, reasons like that, I do think Nova is like really solid in these decks. And like it like to say that it was awesome there is being facetious. Cause like obviously we messed up, top decked our way out of it. So now we got counter mana. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's no sense in Esconting in our upkeep. So now we can Esconta. Hit a root snare. Yeah, that was a really that was a really nice draw. There's not there's no there's no other way to get around that one. I luck sacked pretty hard there. But the Nova, the Nova has just been really solid. I'm gonna burn my Teferi. Untap this, untap this. So this plus negate plus activate search. So it's not going to take a lot to pull out of this game. It was Crackling Drake. It's huge. I hope we don't have to tuck this Drake. It's just annoying because when it comes into play, it draws a card. Negate their counter spell. I negate your negate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we can start as counting in our upkeep because we want to like find find Nexus, play Nexus. Before we take a draw with Teferi. Oh, I should have. Okay, well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I should have thought more about that, to be honest. No, hang on. So six, go down to one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. So I should chart. I just want to make land drops. Like we, we're hitting the part of the game where I don't really want to play cards and interact with my opponent. I just want to hit land drops so I can do more things. Now we upkeep Nexus. So 
Swing and a miss. All right, it's not bad. Um, probably the Rejuvenator at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play my land. I could wait till my end step to do this with Negate, which is probably what I should do, but we're just going to do this. In a real tournament, I would just untap two lands and then do it because I couldn't negate, but I was just kind of moving for speed there. So now we upkeep we Nexus. Okay. I'm going to plus my Teferi one more time because I don't want to. Two, three. I don't want to get rid of it until I have another one. Untap this, untap this. Like, I would ultimate it there if I had one, a backup, but I just don't have another one. Okay, so there's Nexus. So now the game's over now, but we just need to get it all done with. <clears throat> We're going to nug that Crackling Drake and then take care of my opponent's lands. And then we're eventually going to find find Karn or find another Carny T or find a Rejuvenator and just peck my opponent to death. Leave up blue, so if we draw charter course, find charter course being good. Guess we can keep a backup to fairy. Oh, I should have searched again. I should have searched right there as well. Man, we're punting. I just like click through too fast. Let's One, two, three, four. Yeah, we can do this plus play a big night of autumn. Green, green, white. Here's the clock. Put two plus one plus one counters on night. Oh, I guess I can do this as well. I should have done that beforehand. Untap. We're missequencing a little bit here, doing it for time's sake. Opponent's probably sitting here just looking to catch up on their clock a little bit, which like they can do. For sure. For sure. Fields. All right, they decided to scoop it up, which I appreciate. It wasn't going to take too many more turns, but any second counts. Whew. I hope everyone's having a good day today. I appreciate y'all showing up and hanging out. We're up to 35 viewers. So, good little stream.
Um, I don't think we're going to change anything. I think we're just going to keep it as is. The numbers felt decent. I could bring in another Nova on the draw to buy that. But I think for now we're going to we're just going to run it back. Everything felt pretty decent. We got pretty lucky to win that game though. So Yep, keep this. We got a little bit of mana acceleration, which is good. Cool. Got myself a Twitch alert. What is Karn? Karn's in the main deck. Um, I guess we just play, play this because it enables the most lands. For next turn. We're probably just going to end up playing our basic forest anyways next turn so that all of our lands come into play untapped. The cleansing Nova is nice. Man, this Nova has been gas. Radical. I kind of want to play a blue-white control deck that plays Nexus of Fate with some of these radicals and chemistry's insights. All right, that's a quick, it's a quick enigma, boy. Feels felt pretty bad to lose the first game, but I guess, I guess like we're gonna do, we're gonna do this now because they have more counter spells to counter this probably. But I guess that like. We probably shouldn't have... I don't think we should have lost the first game, and I don't think we should have won the second game. So, like, in the end, it all kind of balances out. And we're just going to start developing our mana. That's all. Like, we're not going to play into anything. Oh, get some green cards. Like, we even can try to, like, bait out a Nova with a Nexus of Fate. The nice thing about, like, next Nova plays really well with Nexus of Fate. Because, like, you just, um, because, like, so many times they try to tap on their turn, then you just Nexus and they're tapped out, then you can um, Nova them. And this is just great. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So actually we can Nexus to just play some more lands, which I'm all about. Just make a couple, make, basically just explore. We just want to get ahead on mana. Does that work? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not quite. Well, let's just destroy all the creatures. Would have been nice to play Teferi there, but we couldn't protect it. This is Niv Mizzet. Never to draw a card. So I can just tuck this for free and be okay because it's not going to give them another card. I have liked this card. Yeah, the Nim Visit's been pretty good in the games that I've played against it. Now we're just hoping we get to untap this to fairy. 
Oh, that's bad. All right, that's pretty solid. Yeah, I was going to say like he's he's pretty set up. For what it's worth, I should have tapped this land. So they're probably putting this on top because I think that that card is the niv -Mizzet. They actually could play the niv -Mizzet. Well, they've got seven mana, and then if they have two draw spells, they can kill my Teferi, which will be pretty catastrophic. I couldn't have tucked the amulet. I had, didn't have enough uh, didn't have enough loyalty on my Teferi. All right, yeah. Stitch this. So now we tuck this again. Something they can do here is that, like, in response, okay, so they get their negate off. We could be in trouble here. I mean, we're just going to jam another Teferi, tuck this. And then hope everything works out. All right, thank the Lord. So that charter course is going to find them their nib visit, I think. Because they draw, they look at four cards. I don't think I'm going to win this game. I don't feel very confident about our spot. Yeah, this deck's very cool. Don't have a cantrip. Come on. Okay, sweet. Come on. Give me something. That's not very good. We're in trouble. We are in a lot of trouble. Opponent's doing cool stuff for sure. Problem is, how many more Teferis do I have? I've got one more Teferi left in my deck. At least this search is going to flip. They're pinging my Teferi. I guess they're pinging Teferi because they can just cast another spell and ping Teferi and then crack me for five. My god, my opponent's going to draw like 42 cards here. Dude, this stack is going to be so weird. Just kill my Knight of Autumn, dude.
We're going to start taking all the turns here. Or we are not good. Unless they have six cards in their hand. Jesus. We're just dead next turn, I bet. I bet they're going to draw enough cards to just kill us next turn. This card is nice. Yes. All right, let's do this in our upkeep. Hey, leave it, bud. Leave it. All right, we hit Fog. It's not going to save us. We hit an Elvis Rejuvenator. It's probably not going to save us. I'm so scared to play my... I guess it doesn't trigger off search. My opponent's deck is definitely cooler than mine. Like, for sure. Just not a distant this time. <laughs> it is a very cool card. Yeah, so now if they have a counter spell, then I'm dead as a doorknob, probably. Hey, leave it. So what are the odds as Fog resolves? They know I have it, so it's probably like zero. The Fog doesn't even have to resolve. They can just draw four cards. Yeah. My opponent's deck's cool. This is really a good match. I feel like I was supposed to win game one. My opponent was supposed to win game two. And then my opponent just straight up beat me up in this one. Maybe I had to sandbag my Nova, but like... They put a card on top, so... Dude, my opponent has 19 cards. They actually have 19 cards in their... No, they have 11 cards in their hand. Oh, yeah. We're just dead. I think we're just dead right now. Let my opponent know that their deck is super sweet and good games. Dude, that was awesome. Like if that's how we're if that's how we're gonna die, then that's cool. That's a cool way to do it. Let me put the deck list up here. so hard the standard it's cool and it's like we caught them it kind of sucks we played two blue decks i think we played the mirror and then another blue deck right when we go to make our deck better against aggro man these days this day is just flying i have friends coming over at three i have to clean my apartment Maybe I can skew my deck. 
The thing is, I, I don't. I think I want more. If I want to beat the control decks, I think you just play Negate and Disdainful Stroke. Maybe I'm supposed to bring in more Novas against that deck. I'm not too sure. I would like to play first. This hand's pretty good. I probably can cut a pause from Reflection if I have that many cards in my deck for, like, if we're that anti-aggro. I wish there was, like, a Supreme Will card. Blue-black. Blue-black's kind of scary. I would assume that the blue-black decks are good against what I'm doing. Nice thing is that we can ditch a fog here and not feel bad about it. Probably ditch this one because it's worse. Next time we're just going to jam the Reju Rejuvenator. We're not going to play the search. I just want to like get the mana going. Esper. Now I think I'm going to play this because the two counter spells they have is negate. They're, they're, they're representing negate and syncopate. Oh, shoot. All right, well, it worked. Thank God. My own not being awakeness could have just cost us there. I do think it was right to play Search there because we don't want to get our Rejuvenator syncopated. Yeah, I'll just put this in our graveyard for now. Our man is going to get there. If I don't want to counter this, then that's like, that's their prerogative. Because they're going to. That's kind of gas. Play my land, and then we can pass. We've hit eight, right? Yeah. I really would like something to cast, because I would like something to play into their mana. Unfortunately, we did not get it. So now they can chemistry insight me. That sucks. Maybe I should have waited last turn on playing that, but I didn't think they were going to counter it. Because now they get to Insight. Turn off auto yields. I should field this turn, I think. Because if I field this turn, I can flip my search. And flip and search is going to be a good way to beat up on homeboy. This game's going to be. This game's going to go long. So we want to just flip this. Hopefully, we hit a land. It's kind of like a land. And again, if they waste the counter spell on this, that's okay. Yeah, like that's totally all right with the home team. We missed out on a search activation, but Notion Rain. Fairy would be nice. It wouldn't be that great. If 
I if I hit my land drop, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna Nexus for a couple times just because like hitting more lands is gonna be good. Let's hit. We could hit a, another another search. There's the fairy. This is gonna take some juggling. Like we're gonna have to like on their turn try to like upkeep Nexus them. So that on our turn, we can set up for some explosiveness. And this is what's going to be awesome about this, is that we're going to put a lot of pressure on our opponent. Like, yes, they have seven cards, but if they tap out at any point, they could just die. Okay, we need to hit a, the first step here is hitting a land for us. We did. So now we're gonna we're gonna go with the upkeep. Nexus. We're going to let this resolve because us nexting and then on our turn getting another turn. Well, no, no, I shouldn't have. I should have just done it. Jan lands a fairy. Turn off all the yields. Shoot. I should have just cast it there. I mean, they likely have, they probably have syncopate. I think making that attack means. They at least have something going on, or making that tap out there. But I should have, I should have just jammed it. But I guess I only get one more turn, so I can only just play my Teferi. Hang on one second.
Sorry about that, guys and gals. So, did our nexus resolve? I don't even know if our nexus resolved. What happened? Takes an extra turn, reveals nexus of fate, play swamp, cast to fairy. I'm gonna play this card. I, I don't I don't really know where we are in the turn cycles because I, I had to step away for a second. I'm gonna cast this card and hope that my opponent like uses a bite on this. Oh nice. So we have a Teferi in exile. I think our best play is to bounce this. And then if this if they counter this, we're gonna grab our Teferi from exile. Mission briefing. There it is. Holy shit. What are they gonna do? They're gonna syncopate? Is that how that works? Or do they just not have Yeah, you can't even this is gonna resolve. Is it? No, what do they do? They're gonna, they're gonna, okay, okay, okay. I see what's going on here. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, let's get our Teferi back. So we have two. And then pass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think we're going to just plus our Karn, and then we're going to do the upkeep. We're in a little, we're in, we're in it now. We're in a little bit of trouble. All right, let me hit a land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we're just going to go upkeep. Um, Gonna try the upkeep nexus again. Because if we hit a second land, if we hit a land next turn, we can go to fairy to fairy. Alright, we're gonna go for this. You got another counter spell, bud? Looks like they do. Alright, you got it. So now we just hope to hit a land, hope to play two Teferis, and then I don't really know what else we're going to do. We're in, we're in a tough spot. Oh, we did hit a land, so let's let's try our hero. Mission briefing. What are we targeting? Choose a signature sabotage, okay? I don't think this card's very good. I'm pretty sure like it's it's being leveraged now because we're in the late game. My opponent has so much mana. Got another one, bud? Alright, get that thing out of here. Okay, we're gonna get contempted, but at least their Teferi's off the board. They likely have another Teferi. But Okay. Well, 
Like, this is when the mission briefing looks sweet. But I feel like you can't, with the amount of aggro decks we've seen, I feel like you can't afford to make your stuff cost that much, that, that expensive. All right, you got another counter spell, bud? Does. It says, yes, sir, I do. We're in a lot of trouble here. So they've drawn their other Teferi now. We know that it's in there somewhere. One, two, three, four. So we're going to try a Nexus on their upkeep. You can only have so many more counter spells, bud. Actually, probably can figure that out right now. So they've got, they've used one. They've got like two Sinister Sabotages left in their deck, I would assume. I wonder if this works. Can you cast this? Okay, it's not like a Gear Hulk where you just do it. It's good to know. All right. God, so that's my fourth to fairy. So the only way that I have to actually win this game is if my opponent mills out. Because they've dealt with my Karn and all my Teferis. So, like, I don't know how... I actually don't think that I can win. Because I can't deal with my opponent's Teferi. Right? I can't deal with my opponent's Teferi. Um... I guess I can play Rejuvenate. I can play Rejuvenator then attack it. So I guess we're not dead yet. But if this Teferi ults, then we're gonna we're gonna call it. Because I can just ult this Teferi, play another Teferi, and then bounce it. We're not gonna make our opponent do that. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess we can hit land nexus off of our charter course. All right, we're not going to make our opponent go through that. We're not going to make them like deck me with Teferi. I wouldn't want them to do that to me. We're going to hope that they, we're going to hope they honor it. Okay, so we want Carnivoy, we can get rid of our Novas, Negates, and Disdainful Strokes. We can cut our Fogs. Cut all of our Fogs. We're probably bringing Tristani as it's like a full, it's like a big creature. We can cut some of our Gifts and bring in Knight of Autumns. We probably should just cut all of our Gifts. We should just try to have as much gas in our deck as possible. It's going to make our searches much worse. Because, like, our search has only got, what, now four. It's got 12. 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So only has 21 hits. 22 hits. But when you start going off, search is really important. 31 viewers, I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. Or today. It's day. It's daytime, not nighttime. I would like to play first. Um, this hand's decent. It's not great. It would be nice if our opponent plays a search for his Kanto. We have a disdainful stroke, so we can handle the first um, Teferi. We're going to need some help. But it is better than nothing. Be nice if our opponent gave us a target for this night. If not, I'm just going to run it out on turn three as a big beater. They can only have so many um, ways to deal with the knight and still be able to handle the Teferis. Opponent's tanking. They must have an awkward seven. Probably it's like a seven that's land light, if I had to guess. It's got like the cards they need, but it's just land light. Maybe they disconnected. Where are you, opponent? Hang on one second. I'm going to go this afternoon. I'm going to get myself a beer. And I'll be back. Got my exercise in for the day. Ran around with Phil at the dog park. We came home, did some working out. Okay, so we got back. Well, I don't know what happened with them. They probably stepped away from their computer. We're going to play this tap because we don't have, I guess, we might as well just play two of our basics because our basics are going to come into play untapped regardless.
Because once our basics are in, we're basically all set. <laughs> Charter course after sideboard should do some heavy lifting for us, I think. Are you dressed? Okay. I think we saw Settle the Wreckage in my opponent's deck. Like They've got double blue, double black, and double white. That is a very ambitious mana base for my opponent. Oh, that was a good one. It's like the best. That was literally the best draw on our deck. Oh, shoot. I played the wrong land. That's not terrible. I would like to bust up a search, get like the clean twofer out of this night, but it would have been nice to get it under counter magic. I think I definitely messed up there. Yeah, that does not feel great. I really want that one too. All right, so I think we're just going to play this Knight of Autumn. If it eats a counter spell, it eats a counter spell. We have a really nice play into their insight turn next turn, which is important. Okay, it eats a counter spell. But now they're going to play Langal. We'll play this Tristani. And then put a bunch of power over a couple bodies. Kind of put the squeeze on them. It's really important when you're playing against control decks. We're going to ditch this. To. That's not good. But I guess if they counter it, then we get to play another one. It is nice that it turns on Temporal Sundering as well. And, like, we're not giving them a good chemistry turn. Yeah. They can Teferi us, which is real bad. But even... The Tristani lines up well against Teferi because it doesn't just kill it with their one shot If we, once it goes up to, like, what, six after two turns. But it being multiple bodies is a pretty big game. I'll be there in one hour. All right, don't judge me, Nathan. The pool is open. All right. Um, you called nice. I thought it was close. I thought it closed last weekend. One, two, three, four. I don't think we want. I, th I mean, I do think we want this, but I don't think we can afford to get it now. I guess we keep this. We're gonna miss a land drop, which kind of feels bad. Really hope my opponent doesn't have a counter spell here. I probably actually should have ditched that to hit a land and not get debated. Nice thing is that this Tristani turns on our Temporal Sundering also. So if my opponent does any shenanigans here, we're going to be able to get into them. I would consider this shenanigans. All right, so this is really great. We're going to be able to get Teferi off the board. I don't think I'm going to bounce it. I think I'm just going to kill it over two turns. Target player takes an extra this one. Return up to one target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Exile, current step, or something. Oh, they're going to miss that. This untaps. Now I don't want to play the Temporal Sundering. Because, like, they're just going to counter it. Let's just get in here at this Teferi. Attack Teferi, attack Teferi, attack Teferi.
Oh, there's so many cards. Oh, there's a Karn. Really looking for like a negate. If we can find a negate, then we're going to be able to kill both of these Planeswalkers over the course of two turns. You can have a Planes. We don't really want them to get in an Argles. Though they must have creatures if they have this Argles. We are really looking for a creature. Burnigate, excuse me. One, two, three, four, five. Is this going to flip? One, two, three, four. I think we're going to toss this just to make it flip. No, but it's two cards. Now the search flipping is better. So this at Teferi, attack Karn, attack Karn. Now we're going to send both of these at Teferi. Get this hero out of here. See if this prompts anything from my opponent. I guess now that we've got this Teferi off the board, we can try to take another turn. This Tristani is really nice, doing a lot of work. They likely have another Teferi, but no, they're just inciting, okay. Wow, they're going to play Blood Fast. Then putting the playing the Blood Fast. Um, let's do this first. So this is likely going to kill Karn because. If they do anything to save the car, we're going to get them. What's the point of flipping if you're just going to cast? You're just casting the time lock. I thought it was it's safer flipped. On, like there was two. There's two reasons why I wanted to flip it. I could have hit a something else to do with my mana because what? How much mana did I have last time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I had seven. So that's done. That was done. Thinking, thinking that. But my, my other idea was that it was safer as, as Cantor the Sunken Ruin because of a Teferi type. That was really the only, the two reasons why I did it. One of them was blatantly done. We're just going to jam into this. Oh, turn off auto yields. Yeah, like, the first reason that I did it was dumb. I think the second reason is, like, pretty legit. But, because, like, what are they going to do with their Teferi? I mean, are they digging for cards? Are they going to tuck my search? Like, either is not great. No, I'm saying they could have played another Teferi. They could have had something else there. Joseph Herman is a real reason. Whether it's wrong or not. That is, that's the question. But there was an idea behind it. Um, I guess we might as well just play around settle the wreckage, because we can. Jeez.
All right, let's see if we can find something sweet for this. Well, Nexus is kind of sweet, but it's not what we're looking for now. Uh, let's get the Rejuvenator in here. Might as well just take the field. It's going to be hard to beat this Chromium unless we can get like a loop because we can't really attack through it. Though I am going to just suicide these two creatures into it because by doing just chip shot damage, it makes this Argles worse. Sure, dude. Oh, yeah, I could have discarded a card. Right? How does this work? Discard a card. Anybody? Can anybody do this? Like, I'm not. I have not played a lot of standard recently. Because I didn't know. All right. I, I don't really appreciate your attitude here. Yeah, we're going to take a break. Yeah. It's it's just rude to come into a stream and then like berate the streamer. If you think my plays are wrong, then say it like constructively, but you are not doing that. Um let's go like this. Like I do not know a lot about standard. I don't play that much standard. I play a lot of modern. I think standard is cool, but I'll be the first one to say like, this is my, these are my faults. I'm going to activate this first. Okay. Uh, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to do this on their upkeep. Well, actually, no, we shouldn't do that because they play whatever it is, mission briefing. Yeah. So I should do this now. Probably wouldn't even let his friends use his pool. Real talk, Nathan. Now, the reason why we're doing this now is because we're going to try to play around mission briefing for Sinister Sabotage. Okay. We get syncopated. That was going to happen whether we did it on the upkeep or not. I think I'm going to play my Teferi and plus it. Because even if my opponent um, like takes a turn off to attack the Teferi, then I'm, I think I'm all right with that. <laughs> all right. Mission briefing is... Okay. We'll counter the card they they uh, they choose so that they just have to use more mana. They choose Sinister Sabotage. Okay. Their last card is another counter spell. It could be in a little bit of trouble. And again, if my opponent wants to, like, they're going to contempt this. Oh, they're drawing a card with Bloodfast. Okay, well, we're going to make it so we can feel to ruin it. It's going to Chemistry's Insight. No, they're going to contempt this thing. Okay. All right, we hit a search.
And we're not we're not just gonna time my opponent out. We're gonna play it legit. Like if I if my opponent times out, they time out, but like we're not going to take game actions that cause my opponent to time out. A pretty solid draw actually <laughs> it just like time walks them not really but the fact that it's such a big blocker is actually pretty nice or it just gains life that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna gain life with it let's activate as Kanta before we do anything we're not short on mana negate Then this is going to gain life. Okay. Um, we're just gonna, we're going to blood fast. We're gonna just hit this if it flips. Okay. Just do this now. Don't give them the option to draw a card, draw another creature. Okay. Activate this, look for some gas. Teferi is gas. All right, let's scoop it up. Also, like, getting on my soapbox here. Unless you pay for streaming content. Like, if you're sitting there and you pay for what the streamer is doing, don't criticize them. Like, they are essentially, like, when I do this, I basically donate my time to 98% of the people that watch, which is, like, fine. But, like, I don't donate my time to get shit on, you know? So, like, why would you do that to somebody that's just providing free entertainment for you? And, like, if you don't like it, don't watch it. You know? Like, it's just that easy. This Tristani was really good. Really good through that match. Um, I wonder if I want a card like, like a Lyra to help combat against that. I don't think that I do. I could bring in like a Singleton Cleansing Nova. No, it's just like the idea of that. Like why, why do you do that? It doesn't make any sense. It's just like a tip. Like, if, like, yes, that guy's probably a jerk. But, like, if you have 37 people who, you all are nice, you're all watching and you were nice when the guy did that. But if the other 37 people can just, like, I guess, like, if anybody can just, like, sit here and be like, all right, let's just be nice to everyone. You know? That would be the best way to do it. I'm going to keep this hand. It's a lot of lands. It's two counter spells, though, which are really good in the matchup. And, like, I don't mind playing Drago with this deck. And, like, we're probably going to get discarded anyways. Probably should have played my Temple Garden, but we can keep up appearances here. It does kind of suck that this is probably not going to come to its natural conclusion. Like, it would have been a sweet match to watch. No ocean rain. I just think of Ocean Man whenever anybody casts this. Okay, so they ditched a Chromium. 
That's got to be the only one they have. Like you can't you can't actually play that many chromiums. There's not a, a lot of land arenas. Oh. Nexus is good. It's not it's not good right now, but it is going to be good eventually. They're probably setting up to fairy plus negate now. I don't think I'm going to jam my Teferi. I think we're going to try to go like upkeep Nexus to try to see if we can get something out of them. They had that many of those. All right, let's just do this now then. Okay, so how does this work? Flying. So I can, I can Karn's Temporal Sundering it. I probably shouldn't. I'm just going to draw a card here. Like, if they just decide to go for us, then we can, uh, we, we have more likely of a chance of winning next turn. We're going to disdainful stroke this because they know we have it. And be ready with negate to counter whatever they do. They have double negate, that's going to kind of suck. Going right at me. Okay. I should discard a card to this. And I, this is going, this isn't going to be countered because it has two targets. So even when they, um, when they go to give it hexproof. Oh, I could have actually, like, no, I can't. That's not how that works. This is kind of interesting because for me, this is like very legit because this thing is going to kill me if I don't make like good plays and such. Tristani's solid, though. It doesn't fly, which is great. It's so weird that it doesn't fly. It's a dragon. A dragon should fly. <clears throat> this Tristani has been really nice. Like, I've been super happy to have this card. I wonder who wins this game, like, if it goes to its natural conclusion. That shit is heavy. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, you got that. So this kills my Teferi. It's a good thing we have a backup. I think we're just going to chump it. Oh, I can't block it. Can't be countered. This spell can't be countered. Flash. Oh, it does have flying. Duh. It also does fly. Yes, it does. It's a good draw. So let's attack. Gain some life. Um...
I mean, we're just gonna like. Hang on, can I kill my opponent next turn? So this becomes a five, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna gain life. If I could kill my opponent, I would um, put counters on it. But unfortunately, I cannot. Let me always yield to this. They can tempt my Tristani. We're just going to do this. Like, my opponent's going to time out, but I just want to do all the mechanics right here just to see how this game would have worked if we could. If it already came to its natural conclusion, because it was actually a pretty solid match. And I have time to dirtle around with. Our two cards. <clears throat> it would have been like it would have been interesting to see that come to its natural conclusion. So let's draw some cards here and let's see what happens. Like I obviously could have just passed turn, let my opponent like do it. So that this is what we would have revealed. They give us land. We play Knight of Autumn, gain four more life. They crack us to seven. Well, then they can't attack, which is what's interesting. What we had coming? Another Nexus. We would have got our search back. I think we would have won that game if it had come to its natural conclusion. I saw a really funny tweet. Um, you guys already got three trophies. I got there just winning it. Leave me now. I'll shoot you a text when I'm there. Sounds good, Nathan. Hope you guys are all having a good time here today. Having some fun, fun playing some new standard. I, I, I like outfit my deck to be good against the aggro decks, and then all of a sudden I play against three control decks. Like I probably can just cut this Lyra and make it another negate. But that's a, that's not a bad seventy-five. Like if we have four, six counter spells, our flex. Knight of Autumn spot, and a couple anti-aggro cards and like some control bombs. I'm going to keep this deck. It could keep this hand, excuse me. It could go bad, but if we hit a land, we can rejuvenate her. All right, so we're playing against the old Turbo Turbo Surveil deck. A blue source would be really nice because then we can just curve out really, really smoothly. So it is what the second time on stream this has happened where we just struggled a little bit with lands. Maybe my numbers are off because it's not really a tapped or untapped problem. Where 
are you rejuvenator? It's been a color issues. Maybe maybe I just don't have enough blue sources. Ooh, okay, so that's the fourth time, and I think this is my sixth league that we whiffed on that. I got too confident. I was running hot for like five leagues in a row, didn't miss. Surveil two. I want does that trigger it twice or is it like each time? At least we're gonna be able to play Carney Boy. Kept one on top. Dead light. Okay. So now I don't really have a good play for my car next turn, unfortunately, because I'm, I'm going to assume they're going to be able to surveil. All right, that's actually a better use of my turn. So let's go here. And then do we want to search or do we want to chart? What am I looking for? I'm looking for lands. I think the search is probably going to be too slow, so let's chart. Okay, there's two lands, so two, three, four, five. As much as it pains me, that search for his camp is probably too slow. We're going to get cracked here for five, six, seven, eight, nine. Surveil to then draw a card. Oh, that's the split card. They must not have had the land. Because if you had the land, I think bouncing my gift is like pretty good. So the question is, do I play Karn and make a servo to block? I think that's what we're going to do. Don't counterspell this. We get chewed. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. What he's going to be. Yeah. You got it, opponent. GG's. I think a surveil deck, like, is a pretty bad matchup for this deck. Specifically, like, this card. Cheap creatures that can be backed up by permission are, are likely not going to be very good for this deck. It was tough. Like, honestly, the card that made this deck poor last season was... Um, was whatever it is. Um, gosh, I can't think. <coughs> Glinsley Siphoner. There's a lot of fives. The car might be too slow. Let's bring in some littler things to like help things out. I don't think we can afford to play counter spells. I think we just need to like get on the board. Like the Carnage Tyrant is. It's not really a control deck. It's more of a, like a aggro deck with some beatdowns. So I think the Carnage Tower is too slow. We're going to keep all our fogs in. We're going to just try to get a battlefield presence. Gain some life. Wrath the board. Hopefully we exhaust some of their resources. So what have you guys been playing in standard? What has the chat been doing? What standard strategies have y'all excited? All 
Uh, if we hit a third land, we're good. Because we have the Rejuvenator. Famous last words. I'm going to keep this hand. Like, both the... Like, these cards are very good in the matchup. Trading for modern cards. Goblins. That's the, Honestly, that's the best way to do it. Like, when you start... Like, if you go to a pre-release... You open up some expensive standard cards, that's how you move into modern. You just get rid of them quickly. You can trade, like, I don't know, your good pre-release cards for something that's, like, sweet and modern that you need. The really nice part about Temple Garden, too, is that, like, all of our stuff comes into play untapped. Like, all of our check lands check off Temple Garden. Ooh, that was, like, the actual worst draw on the deck. All right, we need a land. We have 25 of them. It's half the deck. We had half the deck, but I guess it's 24 now. 24 out of 52. We had two looks at it. Hmm. We're totally okay if they're casting this without a creature in play. I think this Surveil deck is best played like a Delver deck. To foil out 75 of your goblins, too. Nice. The additional Water Grave kept one card. Yes. Hopefully we find a blue source. And then we rip another land. Okay, sweet. Um probably want double white. I have liked the rejuvenator. The rejuvenator has missed four times in six leagues I've done it though. Exile my search. Got it. Oh, we missed. Um, I think we're just going to make this guy big. And then look to just beat down. Well, I guess there's no sense making it big. because it. Well, actually, it will. If we hit this Tristani, then it can fight over the top of this. So... Because the 3-1 checks it. Death Toucher into Surveil, dude. I think now it's to fairy time, though. Because we can pause if we need to. Because the old convoke. So if my opponent, like, gets aggressive at all here, then we're going to be able to combo off probably next turn. Okay, so we're probably good now. That's probably good night, Iron. Because one, two... Well, we don't have another blue source, but we can make a blue source with Teveri. So they're just going to surveil to turn this on. The old Doom Daddy. We're probably digging for a contempt.
they found whatever they were looking for. I'm just gonna chump. Oh, I didn't. I clicked through it. All right, whatever. We'll just. No, I shouldn't have played that land. Should take my fairy out because I'm going to do that regardless. So one, two, three. No, we can't get it. We can't get cute with anything. Really looking for a Teferi ultimate out of this. A good one as well. One, two. Yes, yeah, so we can actually field this, mess up their surveil, and then still we can get double, double uh, blue, and then um, we can cast Nexus. Get this. Shuffles back. All right. Whatever, they're just going to block. Let's save the time. We can play around Spell Pierce too, which is good. Then we play this search. They need like to they need to somehow bounce the Teferi back to my hand, which they have. They have they have abilities. They have the one that also like sacks a creature. So maybe it was better for me not to do this. Because they could just make me sack my Teferi. But we have two pretty solid follow-ups. So either they play the dude that sacrifices after we clear the board. We're not in that bad of shape, I guess. What are you thinking about, buddy? Thinking about scooping them up and going to the next game? That would be sweet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So even if we get our Teferi sacked, then I did a Doom Whisperer. Even if we get our Teferi uh, sacrificed, we still are going to wind up next turn with whatever. Five, ten power in board, and we have a search for his Kanta going. And that ten power has lifelink. So we're in a good spot here regardless. So they kept one. Wow, they're going all the way down. Just keep on losing life, dude. Good thing is that they are um they're not drawing the cards, so it's not like they can hit a spell pierce, but a spell pierce wouldn't even do it. No, I didn't whatever I have six through it. I assume that it's gotta be the target player sacrifices a plane blocker or a creature. 
dispersal. Sure, that does it as well. So now we just want to hit a land so we can double spell. Actually, yeah, that just does it anyways. The old creature beatdown plan. We're going to run it back as is. <laughs> I probably should change their sideboard a little bit. I probably should have had my Karn's Temporal Sundering in, but I, ju I just don't know what to cut for it. I think moving forward, I'm going to make this another counter spell. But besides that, I really like the deck. I think it's pretty solid all the way around. Looks like OBS is having some issues. Should play this tap. Oh, we might be good now. All right, there's the there's the little beater. Okay. God, I hope we can maneuver this game to where this Cleansing Nova just gets them. Because if we get to Nova, we're probably we're probably in pretty solid shape. But we got dodge like Thought Eraser. So it's unlikely we actually get to Nova, I think. We're gonna have to dodge Thought Eraser for two turns. Put water there, so they, they scribed to the bottom, surveil to the graveyard. Imagine they ratted search to say surveil. I'm, I'm going to draw this because by putting it in the graveyard, I think shows that I have a turn, um, that I have another turn five play. And without Thought Eraser, they might not, um, 
Like, okay, so they hit a duress. Hey, Ray, how's work? I took my Teferi. So that means they haven't answered this Nova, or they just don't care about it. Uh, like this. I stopped by uh, your place yesterday, Ray. Um, I'm going to go with no. Let's we'll draw that. It's going to be good eventually. So what do we want to run into? I need Teferi to win the game. So let's just cast this Nova. And we hit our fog for next turn. So unless they have another counter spell for Teferi, we can then fog them. We go Teferi plus then fog. And then start to get going there. Making a bunch of margs. Oh, man. I had one last night that was spicy. Yeah, it was busy last night. I was just in there for like 20 minutes. Okay, so they got rid of my Teferi. It's going to be a little harder to win now. But we have other ways to win. Ooh, Choops Magoops. Yes. Oh, they drew their Choops right on time. I think I'm just going to make this a 4-3. Make it so we eat the Choops in combat. Yeah, one of your other managers looked pissed last night. I don't know what was going on. I think, I think like, somebody took the wrong takeout order. And he was uppity. Let me tell you what. Yes. All right, we're literally just going to now sit here behind this search. We're just going to activate this search for his camp until we win. Favorite new card. Yeah, dude. This card is sick. The Absolute Stones. Sure. You take my Nexus. Swing and a miss. Which happens after sideboard. We brought in a lot of creatures. All right, let's just get our mana set up. Um, we're actually going to draw this. And I guess there's no need to flip it. And now we're just going to chill out. Like, there's not really much my opponent can do. Even if they remove this Knight of Autumn, we're, gonna, we're drawing two cards a turn. We're just going to do this every turn because, like, if we hit something we think we're going to need mana to deal with, then we can flip it. But if not, we can just keep it. All right, gift. Suck to miss that Tristani. Um, yes. I don't think we're going to flip either. Now I can actually start attacking because I'm just like winning the race by a mile. So now we're burying him on on like we're burying our opponent multiple. Um, no, he had a baseball cap on and a beard. He wears his baseball cap backwards. He looked like he just didn't look happy. I think he was. I don't know if he was a manager or not, but he was just hanging out back there with Miles. And now it's like we're dominating the game on two aspects. So we can start attacking, putting some real pressure on our opponents. 
We've got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven mana going. Potentially twelve if we need it. So we've actually gotten to the point where we can like search plus Nexus in the same turn. Just take the Nova in case anything gets weird. Um no, we want that. No. Oh, he's a bartender? Okay. Yeah, he just seemed worked up last night. It was a good vibe. I like your music. That makes sense. For that to be our last card. Okay. So next turn, we're going to cast that in our upkeep. All right, so now my opponent, we actually have enough to go like Nexus plus Nova, but I think we're just on like the mono uh, Nexus, like just fine Nexus plans. And if we brick, we can go, um, we can Nova. Uh, we're getting tight on mana. Well, I guess we're really not. Let's see what we draw. I guess there's no point in doing this, actually. This was stupid. Yeah, this, this was... I, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just taken a draw step. Because then my opponent scoops it up. Okay. All right, take it easy, Ray. All right, let's get in here for the last game of the day. Hopefully we can hit the old 3-2. would like to play first and I'd like to keep this hand we get ourselves a rejuvenator we have Teferi on if we hit another land we have Teferi on four on the play so we're playing a mirror here if we're playing a mirror I think we're in good shape because we're on the play and we're gonna we're accelerating into our Teferi yeah come on rejuvenator don't do me dirty Okay, I thought they were going to counterspell that. I was like, no. Okay, so we're actually going to go to Fairy Tick Down on the Gift. Because we don't know how good their mana is. Like, they need a white land in order to cast a fairy. Which they found. Carney boy. Ooh, they played a cute little one. one. Oh, shoot. I guess I can attack Karn. We're not going to Nova because I think my opponent's likely going to make another 0-0 um, zero, zero with this. Try to kill this Teferi. We're going to Fog, and then they might go Teferi Tuck. Okay, they just went up. All right. You can have a gift because that gives us the option to blow up the enchantments if my opponent's choked on mana. Chromatic Lantern. Okay. 
So now actually, next turn we can just destroy all enchantments and artifacts and be in a pretty decent spot with the Nova. This is interesting. We're actually going to like... Nate is at the door. Okay, I'll be right back, everybody. Just give me a hot second. Oh, you want me to come in or no? Yeah, just give me a second. Hey, Phil. Just go, Barton. Settle down. Hey, sit. Phil. Sit. Sit down. I know you don't like it. You're good. You can run into the bathroom. Change. Then I know you don't like it. I'm going to finish up, and I'll be out here. All right, sorry about that. We're back. Okay, so what's what's on going on here? What's on the stack? There, doing that. Yeah, Rafi, thank you. Okay, we're on their turn. So yeah, that resolves. Phil, Philly. He's fine. Oh. All right, plus. We can attack Karn, then blow up the board, at least blow up my opponent's board. That should set my opponent back a little bit. At least give us time to like tuck this and then maybe play another Teferi and plus it. Well, they have red in their deck. They're just like, oh, maybe this isn't a mirror.
I wonder what their payoff is. All right, whatever their payoff is, I'm going to get rid of this Karn. Tuck this. Play another Teferi. Go up with it. Wouldn't mind hitting a land so that we can gift. Nice. If he's too much, I can put him in the crate and, until you leave, Nathan. I think I need to run back down straight with my keys. Okay, you got you got my key, right? No, I got it. Okay. So I feel like I'm gonna get bane fired for like seventy eight here. <laughs> oh, hang on, let's attack first, draw two cards. I think like I recognize the name Grinch Grinchy. Draw two. Make a land drop. We haven't seen a turns card yet. And we're, whatever, 40 cards, 20 cards into our library. We need a payoff. We need like a search for his Kanta. Or they're drawing their Karn this turn, I believe. I think we can just overwhelm the Karn. I think I just want to try to get this Teferi ultimate. I'm a bit nervous about what's going to happen here. Am I going to get like Star of Extinctions? Okay, let's get after combat. We'll play the search. <clears throat> what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing on now? What is it? Oh, it's the bottom of a... Okay, I know what that is. Ah. Also, like, awfully, like, extremely behind on time, which isn't good. Bay Nexus. Actually, can have six because they've nexus. What the reds for in their deck? Oh, Ral. It's like more Teferi's, or they just don't have Teferi. Oh, it is just another Teferi. I think we're dead. If we just didn't hit a uh, another turn card, I'm fairly certain we're just dead as a doorknob here. I'm just going to scoop it up here. They're drawing three cards a turn. Yeah, we're not going to play through this. Behind on time anyways. What a weird game. We just didn't find an extra turns card. It's a little frustrating, but what are you going to do? So in the mirror... We want... We want Knight of Autumn. We want our counter spells. We don't want our fogs. I think we can get rid of the Novas as well. Probably just run it like this. I could bring in the Carny Boys, but I don't think it's about Carnage Tyrant. The game's more about setting up your turns cards. So I think we're just going to go like this. Might board in the Carnage Tyrants if they have like a lot of counter spells, but I'm just not a big fan of tapping out for six. And then um, just tapping out for six mana to just not really do anything. Uh, 
right, I would like to play first. I uh, will keep this one. Again, we've got explosive mana. We have a counter spell and a Teferi early on the play. It's a real solid hand. I don't even really want Charter Course because I want all of my cards, and I might as well just like find a time to cast Charter Course after I've rejuvenated. God, he's like, do I play my search into the Night of Autumn? What a bold man or woman, whoever I'm playing. Almost a miss. Nice. Yeah, you can tell it was still. I think we're just going to be patient. Like, <coughs> we can chart a course here, draw two more cards, set our mana up even more. My opponent's really on the back foot. We could just also just draw two cards. Yeah. I think we're going to Rejuvenator now. They can get a Karn down, but we can play Teferi with Negate up next turn if we hit a land. The Charter Courses are really nice in this version of the deck with the Rejuvenators. Just another incidental way to draw cards. One, two, three. We could even gift. If we if we Teferi, we can then Teferi with Negate and Disdainful Stroke up. We didn't hit a land, unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I think we're just going to attack and then gift one of our lands. Because, like, if if they get our, if they snipe our Teferi here, it's, it's pretty... It's pretty bad for the home team. So, as long as we get our Teferi down, we should win this game going away. Especially considering we've got Disdainful Stroke plus Negate this turn. That is cute. It'll be all good by the time you get back. Huh? It'll be all good by the time you get back down. Oh, no, you're fine, dude. I am slightly embarrassed. My apartment oh my is God. clean. God. My apartment is not clean. We don't do this with the uh, We're gonna let this go. I'm getting cabin out over here on the couch. <laughs> I'm still live, by the way, just letting oh, you know. Sorry. Okay, let's go here. I guess I should have left another blue source up. I will negate your negate. And now we can untap with double disdainful stroke. Because of uh, our gifted land. Okay, untap, untap. See, they errated. They errated to fairy. No. They made it so oh, that lands? You, you well, you don't have to untap lands. Oh, you land. Yeah. When I heard they errated to fairy, I thought it was like, does it say another? Like you can no longer talk itself, which is probably what it should say. But all right, get out of here. What's Philly's? Uh, Philly. It's, oh, it's Philly dog. Yeah. Tagging him in a photo. Nice. With his favorite dog. Okay, yeah, I scooped it up. Last game. I think we're just going to keep it the same. We got to be a little more conservative on the draw. 
The Chromatic Land is cool. It did enable a pretty nice blowout for us in game one, though. But I don't think... I think that... I think Cleansing Nova is going to start to see more play. Like, it's been much better than Settle the Wreckage today. It just sucks playing a Mopey four-mana instant that people can play around. They can play into it. Like, all right, we're going to keep this hand pretty solid. We need another land, but if we get another land, we can blow up our opponent's, like, gifts or searches with our own Knight of Autumn. Good. Hey, Phil. You're allergic. You got allergies. Really? Yeah, he's, he's got wicked allergies. Hey, Philly. Don't lick your paw. Or don't chew your paw. Let's get rid of this Nexus. We don't need this right now. It's going to be a while before we get enough mana for that. Flavor-wise, does it make sense that Teferi tucks itself because he doesn't know the story? What are I do not know. I am not a good flavor judge there, Eltas, Eltasi. So I don't really know. But it is dumb from a gameplay aspect that Teferi can tuck itself. Oh, man. <laughs> we got our foot in this, buddy. We got him. He'll never stop. He will literally lick a hole in your skin. <laughs> All right, so at least now we can Knight of Autumn, their search, just bang. They were probably going to play our Karn next turn because, like, okay, so it might make sense from a flavor aspect. From a gameplay aspect, though, it, it's pretty awful. Like, like, the last Planeswalker that could create this kind of card advantage and win the game on its own was, like, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Like, it's just stupid that you don't have to play any other win conditions but this card. All right, so they have mana up, so I don't think we're going to actually cast our Karn. I think we're just going to, like, set our mana up here. Doing. <laughs> Should tag Julia. Huh? Should tag Julia. I don't have I'm not a friend of hers. My friend Nathan is arguing. Not arguing. He is He is saying that he is Philly's my dog's godparent as Philly loves him What's more than anybody else. Julia? Yes. Julia Gurum? Yep. Right? She's tagged. She's so. she's been tagged. <laughs> Gauntlet has been thrown. <laughs> okay, so now that we got the Disdainful Stroke, we're going to just be patient. Just continue to set our mana up. Trade off here. We're not going to jam our Teferi into our opponent's. Because, like, the first person that goes for a Teferi and loses, like, really loses. Is Julia a big familiar with this joke? I don't know, actually. Oh. No. She's about to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. So let's get rid of this. What are you doing over there? Giving your opponent the D? No, I'm a uh, field of ruin. Their gift of their glacial fortress, which they put on a gift of paradise. A gift of paradise, a glacial fortress. So it's a fog. It's a fog noob kind of thing. Can't be doing that. Don't suck it. <laughs> All right, again, we're gonna pass. We're not gonna jam our Karn because my opponent still can't play Teferi with a counter spell up. And we're, we're ahead here. Like, our opponent is, like, missing land drops, which eventually 
we're going to be able to start to press that advantage. So one, two, three, four, with four up. I think it's a good time to play Karn. Like, if my opponent counters this, then that's okay. Because, like, it, it, like what matters is Teferi. This Karn doesn't matter. Okay. Keep this up for double counter spell appearances. We're really waiting on a negate or a turn of course isn't bad. A negate or a um, nexus. So there's Karn's Temporal Sundering, which is good. I think we're going to ditch our land. We're going to play this search. Search is also good for us in the waiting game. Because <clears throat> our search is going to flip next turn. So we can just sit here and just not do anything. And we'll eventually just outcard our opponent. All we want to do is make land drops. It's like this Turbo Fog Mirror is very similar to a Control Mirror. You can have the Karn. Though, I actually should have tried to counter that Karn to make them tap mana, because we could have then um, resolved our Teferi. So, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we're going to go... We're going to upkeep... Nexus. And then hopefully on our turn we get to go nuts. Use our double land so that we don't get like stone range or something. So this is where we're going to make our move. We got a counter spell up. So even if they counter this, we counter their next play and then we play Teferi and we should be in pretty good spot. Oh, pool's on the 24 if you just want to take my keys and go up there. I'm waiting for you, though. Well, I'm going to have to clean anyways. I'm going to clean it. No, don't help me clean. I'm not going to. No. I need to, like, do so much. It does not. It's not good. My, my leagues went long here. I thought I was going to be done around 1, 1.30. But well, this is only my second second league on the stream. So I should wear sandals or something. I can wear it. Yeah, my shoes. Yeah. yeah, you can wear my Birkenstocks. Or your... something a little less gay that I can wear. <laughs> no. God damn it. Oh, Bill. Wow, they're just going on the beatdown plan here, which is a little... Taking them to downtown? Well, no, they're just like, they're not getting any cards in their car. Like, they must just think they're so far behind that the only way they can win is... Downtown. What are they thinking about here? Stop it, Philly. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to be able to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's, the, he's, a, he's a 70 pound lap dog. I know. You don't like me. I know. He takes me to a spawn store and sits down first. Yeah, we're just gonna counter this because if they if they fight over this, then our Teferi does resolve. And the nice thing about this is that even if our Teferi doesn't resolve, we can still as Kanta. Twentieth floor, you said. Twentieth floor, yep. Alright. I'm gonna finish this game. This is the last game that I'm going to take Phil out that I'm gonna clean. Okay, so it gets negated. We search. We're looking for just another way to to Teferi. So do you need your key then? Um, 
No, I don't need the key. There. Sure? Yeah, Philly went out. Well. All right, well, I'm almost done here. Okay, take your time. I'm in no rush. Yeah, Philly went out last at like eight, so it's getting getting close. We hit a land drop here. We still one, two, three, four, five. We can let's just do this on our turn here. Well, one, two, three. Yeah, I'll just set our mana up. My opponent could kill me here. Like we have kind of missed, but if we set our mana up, then we're going to be in pretty good shape for next time. There was two nexuses. Untap, untap. I could have held up in his can't activation, but if we don't die here, then. We are in pretty good spots. because we just have a lot of mana set up for next turn. What a huge spaz he is. Please, they do make those. What, when they get sent or something for you? Um, let's give him the one that costs life. My dog is a 70 pound, 70 pound lap dog. He's still a pillow for life in real life. Yeah. Pill the pillow for life. We're just gonna block one of these. Just I don't know if they're gonna have some random burn spell. If they have a time walk here, it's gonna be kind of annoying because it kills our Teferi. Yeah, looks like they do. Son of a gun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can have the one that causes pain to untap. So I know they have this, this. Give it another one. That's a Teferi. That's not good as well either. So they have a counter spell. I'm in a lot of trouble. This one just kind of like slipped away. Search. So now we just kind of have to hope they don't have it because they're just way ahead of us in pretty much all. Oh, I should have done that on my upkeep. Didn't have a stop. So if I hit a nexus here, we can we can do it. But I have to hit a nexus, which I didn't. But I do get to to ferry again next turn. There's nothing I can hit. I boarded out all my fogs. Yeah, I boarded out all of them. <clears throat> but we can hit a counter spell, hopefully. But my opponent's going to start gaining a lot of advantage as well. The only saving grace is that we have more mana than they do. But they can just, yeah, they can just minus their Karn, destroy their... We got to hit pretty quickly. Pretty, like we're we don't have very many more draw steps, unfortunately. I am losing Phil. Dad always goes two three in his leagues. Dude. All right, we hit a negate, which isn't bad.
Alright, you hit a negate, buddy. If he hit a negate here, then we're probably going to you know, wrap it up. Wait, what did you actually play as Tower of Devastation? They reprinted it in 19. Alright, we're going to go a couple more turns here. If they, if they show me another Nexus, then we'll scoop it up. Teferi. That is not Nexus. I wonder how these... Because I lost two Fog Mirrors... And I just, I don't know how, I don't know where they went wrong. I'm going to go look at those today. I'm assuming I've lost this one. My opponent's drawing 47 cards a turn. Disdainful Stroke, that's also pretty bad. So now I need to hit like Nexus plus Negate, plus have my opponent have nothing in order to... Just make it out of this turn. Take a draw step. So you know they have disdainful stroke. All right, we're going to play for my opponent Bricken, but it is pretty likely that is not going to happen. <clears throat> Basically, if my opponent shows me another Nexus, we're going to we're going to call it because that's going to give them a Teferi emblem. Oh, they can just do that and kill me too. No, it's not dead. Well, I mean, a Nexus kills me. Oh, that kills me too. All right. Loser. All right, so let's go back to the deck, wrap it up. Then we will get out of here for the day. I'll send my friend to the pool. I will clean my apartment. All right. <clears throat> okay, let's go to the deck here. So I think I need to make a couple changes. Like, this Lyra should be another counter spell. I think that'll help in these mirrors. I lost two blue mirrors, which I lost to three blue decks. So I probably just made the deck too good against control decks, or against aggro decks, which is my problem. Like I could easily probably cut this positive reflection for a chemist's insight and cut this Lyra for another negate. I think that's what I'm going to try to do moving forward. But I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out today. If you're on your way out, please hit the follow button. If you're on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. And then look down the links in each and go over to the other one and do that too. All right, we'll see all of you next time. And hope everyone has a good weekend and a good pre-release.